mm, mm, mm. Hello people, have a look at this £10 banknote that I just got. Isn't it a wonderful banknote? I think it is. I did make a video on these uh, £10 banknotes before. But I just like them so much I just want to show you again. So we have uh, Governor Phillips who is uh, Governor of New South Wales. He's one of the first governors. And look, we have the legal tender status of this banknote. And the thing that people don't understand or don't know is that these banknotes are still legal tender. So you can actually go into a shop and spend it for the equivalent of $20. But considering uh, these banknotes actually cost more than $20 to buy, no one's going to do that. And plus, people probably look at your funny and go, what the... What? I don't know what that is. You can't spend that here. A lot of people will think that you're just joking. So here we have the watermark. He's uh, Captain Cook. And he was one of the um, first explorers of Australia, Australian coastline. Another thing, we have 10 pounds down here. Where the signatures are, there. As you can see, 10 pounds, 10 pounds. The scene the denomination on a few of the banknotes. And the first, so this is a 1960 issue because it's a reserve bank. Commonwealth Bank is 1954 to 60. And WA 29 is the second number in the series. So this starts at WA 28. So this is just what they call a common note. And here we have the coat of arms of Australia. So you have the kangaroo, the emu, and we have the six states, so New South Wales, Victoria, no, New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, South Australia, Western Australia, and Tasmania. Tasmania has a line for some reason. They should actually have like the Tasmanian devil. And that is nice. Oh, on the plate in the background is the uh, wattle. I think it's a black wattle, which is pretty common in Australia. I have one in my front yard I have to cut down. They grow really quick and they just suck up all the water. Okay, the reverse. Yep, 10 pounds. As you can see, this is the actual pound sign. They actually use it in the UK still. And this one is commemorating industry and science. So there's all science equipment, so you've got Bunsen burner, this is a distillation process, they're boiling something, and they're either leaving the, the product they need in this uh, flask, or they're putting it in here, depending on which one boils first. So you have a cog for industry, I'm not sure what that is. You have scales, because that's important, you have a book in the background for the retention of knowledge. And she has a compass to draw circles and to measure distances. And that's probably a map she's holding the other hand. And she's just an allegorical figure. Probably based on a real person, but we don't know. And she just represents knowledge. Oh look, we have a flower. Not too sure what that flower is. I've never seen it before. Obviously, it'll probably be a native Australian plant. The leaves look like it could be a type of um, banksia. The flowers do not correspond with it. Hmm. Anyway, I'll have to find that out. So, that is a £10 banknote. Used up until 1966. That's when we changed the decimal currency. So, I hope you like £10 banknotes. If you do, give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe because so I can show you more numismatic items from around the world. Bye bye.